All right, you can tell we've been at work. If you were here last time, we had the mock-up motor in it. We've already pulled the mock-up motor out, got the transmission separated, and we're fixing to try to put the actual 327 in today. Fingers crossed. We're now going to check the uh, main bearings and rod bearings to see if there's any copper showing through on these bearings, see if there's any undue wear and tear that we need to be worried about. So, let's Yep, it ran good now. when we, uh, we brought it home, bought the engine, but we're going to go ahead and no doubt that everything was torqued. Come on yes. over and do the other one. And, uh, but, you know, we just want to be sure before we uh, just put it back together and send it, as they say, leave it down in there. He's never done this before, so I'm fixing to teach him how to get that main cap off. I have done this before. Okay. Yeah, it lifted right off better than I expected. Let's get in here and look at the bearing. We're gonna need to uh, um, probably replace these bearings. That's my luck. It's just my luck. Well, let me get in here and get off camera and get where I can see. Just what I just saw there on camera didn't look good. Well, it's not good. You can see right here, you can see the grooves. You can uh, see the bearing. Um, yeah, if we were in a send it mode, we could probably send it, but um, these bearings are done. Let me see that bearing for a second. You can see, let's flip it around. These are 30 thousandths already. All right, so we're weighing our options. We still got the pre-50 block from um, the one he bought. How long ago did you buy this thing? Almost Two? five years now. No, I don't think it's been five years. It's been three it's years. About four. Four years, whatever. It's been, it's been a hot minute. We've had that block sitting around. Um, I took, did a little polishing on the crank. Crank on that one has been turned 20 thousandths, but it looks like it's in good condition. The bearings didn't look bad when they came out of it. So we're weighing our options, possibly using the heads and cam from this motor and using the block and crank from the 350. Uh, the 327 block and the 350 block are the same. Um, that one is a one piece rear main, this one is a two piece. I don't think there's any issue using the crank, uh, excuse me, the camshaft. So we're gonna tear this one down and uh, see what is usable and what is not. So we gotta get to work. We're hoping that cam is in one piece. Well, we got the heads off, and uh, well, the block has been bored 30 thousandths. You can see it is 30 thousandths overboard pistons, and I don't know if you can see it in that cylinder there. It probably needs another boring. It might get by with a hone and another set of set of rings for a little while. I don't know. <sighs> All right, well, it's been a few days since we got the bad news. I'm sure you could see the look on my son's face. <sighs> look of disappointment and dejection. Um, <sighs> I was really hoping that we would have this engine and transmission stabbed back in the car last weekend and that uh, I would be able to tinker with it some this weekend, excuse me, this week when I come in from work and go ahead and see about getting it to crank and run in the truck. Um, 
that obviously is not going to happen now. So what I have got to do is I've got to continue on with the autopsy of this 327 and see if I'm going to be able to save it. Um, I have put out a feelers for a 327 crank and the hot rod gods have provided. Um, there'll be more on that coming a little bit later. But what we have to do right now is I need to see about getting the harmonic balancer off of this engine um, so I can get in there, get the timing chain out, and pull the cam. That is the last, one of the last big components in this engine that I really need to check and that I'm not sure about. Um, if the camshaft is wasted, I don't know what that's going to mean for this project going forward. Um, it could mean a hard pause for a little while. Um, but anyway, let me get to work and uh, we'll get back on this. Fingers crossed, we'll figure it out. moment we've all been waiting for get a drum roll please all the lifters are out put them in little ziploc baggies and i started on the number one side odd side and a number on one through eight and then move over and i keep going nine through sixteen that way i don't have to guess or remember which is exhaust which is intake they will go back exactly where i pulled them out from because I'll know, starting at number one, all the way back to eight, nine through 16. Boop, 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 drop in, they won't be out of order. So, let's pull this camshaft. All the lifters looked good. They were actually trying to spin when I was taking them out. Oh man, so far so good. I want to be able to give that boy some good news here in just a little bit. Call him at work and give him some good news. Because I think these cam bearings, as long as I don't damage them getting this out, are okay. Come on, baby. Come on. Here we go. That is a freaking relief right there. These cam journals are not eating up the lifter lobes. I'm going to have to do a little looking and make sure that they're not fixing to wipe and go away because i got a couple here that were suspect. Oh, I may have spoke too soon. I think we may have a couple of lobes that are not happy. Mm -mm. Yep. Let's take a minute and uh, punch the numbers and see what this cam even is. But I have a feeling, look, just looking at these lobes, this one, this one are going away. That one I think is going away. Alright, so welcome back to the little shop of Hot Rod Horrors. Um, this camshaft, uh, started looking at this lobe and this lobe here. And if you look at the nose, I don't know if you can see that, but you can see the nose and how it's a nice crisp nose, sticks up there nice and high. And you stick those two with the noses up, they're starting to go away. We have one about midway right here. You can see where it's going away and then you roll it to the one right next to it and it has a nice, you know, pronounced nose. And the two in the very back. Let's start with this one. Nice nose goes up. And then this one, not so much. It's going away. And then this one is going away. You can look at the wear pattern on the cam. I don't know, man. You know, it's what it is. You buy a used motor, you, you get just that. U-S-E-D, used, somebody else's stuff. Um, so we're going to talk about it for just a second. Um, engine was on the channel two years ago 
and we cranked it up sitting, you know, about 15 feet that way, sitting on a tire. Engine cranked up and ran. We did not run it long because we didn't have a cooling system hooked up to it. Um, it sounded okay, it didn't clatter, didn't tick, didn't have any, you know, had 50 pounds of oil pressure. So, uh, the backstory on this engine is, my son told me that the guy had bought this car, I think it's an El Camino, and had driven it to a couple of car shows, had driven it down to cruising the coast, the Mississippi Gulf Coast, if you're not familiar with cruising the coast, check it out, one of the biggest shows on the coast, great show all week long uh, but anyway when he got back it's about 200 miles down 200 miles back you're gonna drive about 200 miles when you're there and uh, he came back and had made the decision that he wanted to do the LS swap on his 64 El Camino so he had pulled this engine out said that he didn't really have any problem with it that it just he was just wanting to upgrade and build the LS so he offered it for sale, and I mean everything. It was from breather, valve covers, headers, chrome oil pan, chrome timing chain cover, everything. And when we pulled the lift uh, rock, uh, valve covers off, I'll say it here in a minute, it had the roll tip rockers, you know. So we thought we had us a really good, um, solid running engine. Even came with the, uh, with the intake. Um, I forget which one it is. Uh, but anyway, it's a aluminum, you know, medium rise intake. <sighs> he paid three hundred dollars for it. Um, There's still over three hundred dollars worth of parts here, even though we got some stuff that we're going to have to do to it. I still feel like he got a good deal, but it's just not as good a deal as we had thought. So, with all that said. Um, we got some more figuring and ciphering to do. And one of the other things I told you I would mention here at the end is about this crankshaft is, again, crank sh the uh, hot rod gods provided. I, uh, I reached out to a couple people and immediately got a response back from a guy that I made friends with here on uh, YouTube. He's a fellow creator. He, uh, he builds hot rods. He does all kinds of stuff. He's out in North Carolina. Um, his name's HG, and uh, he uh, has a channel Left for Dead Garage. I reached out to him, said, "Hey, you know anybody that might have a good used crank?" And he texted me back immediately and said, uh, "Yeah, as a matter of fact, I've got one leaned up in the corner, sitting on the shelf over here." And uh, standard, standard, hadn't been ground, hadn't been touched, in usable condition. That's just how, you know, how rock community is. Somebody's in need, you reach out, and a lot of times you'll get a response. Hey man, yeah, I got whatever you need, you know, I got so-and-so. So, right now we're in the process of working about getting that uh, crankshaft shipped from North Carolina to Mississippi here. So, where does that leave us? Well, now we got to figure out what we're going to do about the camshaft and uh, it looks to me like about the only usable component in this engine, the big components are going to be the timing chain, the heads, and the, all the rocker arms and such. <sighs> so we're going to end up doing the same thing we did to the 260 I got sitting on an engine stand over here in the corner for my Mercury Comet. We're going to probably end up doing all of that same kind of work to this 327. Always wanted to build 327. I guess I get my opportunity. Yay! So, while I'm getting ready to do that, why don't you go out and watch another video coming on the screen right now.